Just two days after Chicago's mayor issued an emergency declaration in response to the number of migrants entering the city, at least one police station housing new arrivals has cleared out. They moved from the District 12 station to a warehouse turned into an emergency shelter. CBS News' Noel Brennan is outside the shelter in Pilsen tonight. He joins us now. Noel, how many people are there now? Well, Joe, we know that more than mi not 70 migrants are staying in this repurposed warehouse, and all of them have come from police stations. Here they have access to bathrooms and showers, and they don't have to sleep on the floor. This entire effort is being led not by the city, but by dozens of volunteers. A once empty warehouse in Pilsen now overflows with activity. It's a full house today. And goodwill. The haircuts from Mark Nava are free. Like I had a little extra time on my hands and I feel like it would have been the best way to spend it today. And on the other side of the building, all the food is donated to migrant families who've moved in. Sí, más cómodo. Jorge Luis, his wife and their three kids spent eight days living inside a Chicago police station. Ya dormimos que sean colchones, ya que sea no han dado ropa. Now, they feel the extra support of an air mattress Mejor. and the Pilsen community. Most of the migrants here moved out of the 12th District Police Station. We got babies as young as three months old, 23 kids and uh, over 70 people right now. Alderman Byron Sicho Lopez of the 25th Ward helped organize volunteers. We could not just sit and watch. Who turned a warehouse into an emergency shelter. We can provide some shelter until, of course, the city of Chicago, the state and federal government bring support and resources to have better conditions, again, not only for migrants and refugees, but for Chicagoans across the city. The alderman sees this shelter as a model for other wards. We do need to make sure that we identify areas, especially in the Latino community, uh, where we can set up similar uh, shelters in empty public schools, empty churches uh, that can provide humanitarian help. A crowded room is still far from perfect, but it beats the floor of a police station. Hay lucha para bañarnos. As this empty warehouse fills, even the barber cutting hair knows the need will only grow. So far we're two down and probably uh, 15 more to go. No, muchas gracias, mucho gusto. Alderman Sigcho Lopez says that the Office of Emergency Management visited this site yesterday and volunteers expect more and more people to come here in the coming days. Sigcho Lopez says that this warehouse could house up to 250 people. Hmm. We're live in Pilsen. Noel Brennan, CBS 2 News. Noel, thank you.